Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. We are uh, recording our vlog um, a few hours, several hours later than usual, <laughs> because we had a bit of a, a what is it, a, a low mood attack this morning, where we both kind of got uh, entrenched in a conversation that we probably really shouldn't have even bothered having. Yes, we know much better than that. <laughs> Obviously not, or else we wouldn't you have done have that. You should have left me alone. Yes. I was taking your low mood seriously and talking to you as if you were a normal person. Yeah. And you weren't in your right mind. Yeah. And then finally I said, you shouldn't perhaps be taking anything that I'm saying seriously now. And that, um, you know, you're trying to have a rational conversation with someone who's not rational. So I, think, quite, I think you said a madman. A madman. I might have used that very term. <laughs> so I'm quite proud of myself for even going in that direction. Yeah. Considering what low mood I may have, may have been in. And obviously I was in a low mood too, or else I wouldn't have bought into it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, here we are. Okay. Well, so yeah, no, I actually have been in quite a low mood this week. Um, and uh, I don't even really need to go into the ins and outs of it. That would probably be not a smart thing to do if I'm in a low mood. <laughs> but what I have noticed, which I think is really interesting, is that uh, I think when I first started coaching, there were moments where I would get into a low mood and then I would really question my ability to show up as a coach and, uh, and feel like, you know, the feeling is wrong. I can't have a conversation with anyone in this state, particularly someone, you know, who's expecting me to help them. Uh, and then what has helped me to get over that and what really this week has been a beautiful reference point for uh, seeing how there's really no value to, value to that, that thinking is actually the, the coaching really puts me in a much better frame of mind. The coaching actually lifts my spirits and puts me in a better mood. And I'm not trying to get outside in about this. I'm actually noticing that really what's going on is that I'm having a conversation about truth. I'm having a conversation that really is trying to move beyond the ego and get to a place of wisdom. And, uh, you know, I can do my very best to point my clients in that direction. But if we can both get on the same page in that field, for want of a better way of defining that wisdom, then my spirits just, you know, really lift and I come back into, into my equilibrium and balance. So quite often I come out of those coaching calls with a skip in my step. And, and it's because I've kind of like lifted myself naturally out of that, no, that low mood by having a conversation really, which is essentially about truth. And I even think about, you know, when, when you were first exposed to this understanding and you first got into coaching, there were times where maybe, you know, we were having a difficult uh, day or, or having some kind of conflict. And I would often be surprised at how you could just like, let it all go, go into a coaching call and then and then come out of it and you're in a completely different mood you're always kind of happy and 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 then always it was much easier to you know resume whatever difficulties that we were having or, or look at those difficulties from that vantage point and i often i often would think you know maybe we got into conflict i, I hope she has a coaching call soon <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and that's with, without me being privy to this understanding at all. So now I'm actually very aware of the fact that, you know, what's, you know, in the bigger picture, in the grand scheme of things, I realize that really, you know, when I'm in a low mood, the opportunity is for me to know, is, is first and foremost to realize I will come back into balance because that's my essential nature. But I can actually, you know, start to think, well, maybe I need to, you know, start. I, it's not that I can go looking for truth, but I can at least know that that's a compass point that I have available to me and that if I could ignore the prevailing thinking that really is coming on board with that low mood then then it's a, it's it's a, it's at least a start um and know that I'm moving in the right direction well, I think it's a great example of how <clears throat> excuse me how when we're in a low mood we're zooming into the personal and when we're zooming out and looking in the direction of the impersonal, what the impact is, it feels so much nicer and lighter and better for us, no matter what. It's it like a does. great example of it, that. It does. And I think that in terms of our relationship, um, you know, I kind of fell into it this morning, but what has been really helpful is to just be able to remember like, oh, this conversation, like this is 
is this is an indicator that I'm not stable inside. This is an indicator that I'm actually not in a good place to be having this conversation. I'm caught up in my insecurity or my fear. And that's all that happened to us this morning is that we had a conversation where I was feeling insecure and you were feeling insecure and it just didn't go well. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't escalate into a fight, which is pretty cool for us. Because that would have been the normal trajectory in the past. It's very cool. And to be able to kind of at some point, I think you woke up before I did, but to some point realize we're basically having a conversation that doesn't even need to be had because we're talking nonsense with each other. And then we're trying to make decisions based on the nonsense, which is going to change in an hour or so. And uh, we could just leave it alone. Yeah. And it is the leaving of leaving it alone that is 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 the big opportunity, which allows me to uh, to uh, share a metaphor that has been uh, coming forward for me this week. Because I I guess we we finished a fast. We call it a fast. No, it was or a, li- a liver cleanse. It felt like a fast to me, that's for sure. Um, and it's the second time that I've done it, and it's the second time that I've come up. Uh, that 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 a that a rash has come up. Did you up. get a rash the first time? Yeah, you did it? and the first time I think you said, you know, that's all the toxins being released. I'm like, yeah, all right, and I didn't really buy into that. But this time I'm kind of thinking, oh, obviously maybe there is some there's some truth to this. Um, but um, and maybe that's been a contributory factor <laughs> in, in affecting my mood. I don't know. But what's been interesting about it is that I know that the only way to get better is just to not scratch because it's the scratching that exacerbates the issue so there's obviously a beautiful metaphor around thinking and thought um and i can certainly apply it in this situation if i'm in a low mood the thought that wants to come on board the extraneous thought wants them to get on board that low mood uh is something to leave alone so it's like it's like that scratch that i shouldn't it's like that itch You're that scratching I now. <laughs> it's like that itch that i just should leave alone and not scratch people are going to start scratching just listening to us i know <laughs> I'm definitely getting better, but it is through leaving it alone. And in a sense, you know, there is the metaphor about leaving my thinking alone, particularly when I'm in a low mood or not taking it seriously. Well, I think, you know, with what I've experienced, whether it's like scratching a mosquito bite or something, it's like that initial scratch, you think it's going to be good, and then it just gets far worse. Yeah, exactly, it just it's, sets you off. And the same thing happens with our thoughts when we just jump in there and, you know, get in there with them yeah, yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. get involved yeah. with them yeah. they just multiply so maybe you know it starts off with like maybe like i've got a little itch a little itchy skin and i scratch away at it you know before i know it I like i've got a huge sore oh. but, <laughs> no, i haven't got a huge sore <laughs> but i'm saying that's kind of like how thought can work and operate yes and can become habitual yeah because we just le- can't leave it alone mm-hmm. it looks really compelling it looks real and it's not. It's not. It's not well, illusion. we hope everybody has a lovely weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. Take care. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye.